Hey friends, welcome back. Welcome back to part two of making a trash can. Uh, someone had mentioned, why don't you make a second part and just show how you paint it and weather it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what this video is intended for. As you can see, I started uh, painting uh, black onto the piece. And uh, that's just for the primer. I usually paint everything, uh, I usually prime everything black. You can spray paint this, it's probably be a lot easier, but I don't have any any spray paint on hand. So I use this cheap apple barrel paint. And uh, I use cheap craft paints for, uh, for my dioramas and my accessories. When I make custom figures, I use quality, uh, quality paints for models, like Vallejo, P3, and a Reaper. And, but for... Uh, for dioramas and accessories, I use cheap craft paints, and I'll show you what I use. So I started, uh, I started painting and uh, priming this particular piece, and all I do is, I just come in and I just make. You got to make sure I don't wet it or anything. I just come in with straight paint, and you just got to make sure. It, you don't really need a tutorial on how to paint this. But you want to make sure you get every crack and crevice, especially with the corrugated cardboard. You just want to really get in there. And uh, you don't want any central board or PVC showing. So, But the central board takes paint very well, as you can see, by that pass there. It's going to only require one coating. Some plastics that you, that you paint will require uh, two, three coats for good coverage. But this particular uh, material is uh, one coat and you're good. Especially the corrugated cardboard. So I'm not going to paint this whole thing on camera. I'm just showing you and giving you an idea of you know, what you need to do. You just want to get in every nook and cranny. And you want the whole, the whole piece primed before you continue the painting. So let me, let me finish painting this, priming this. Let me dry it and I'll come back and we'll paint it. Uh, we'll paint it a uh, metallic, uh, it's a warm metal acrylic paint. And I picked this up at Target. It's metallic and it says warm metal. So we'll, we'll paint this particular can that color. This can I painted just a silver. So this piece here will be a little different. And then we'll go into weathering it. So let me uh, let me go ahead and finish priming. I'll be right back. All right. So we have the piece primed, and I do recommend a spray a spray uh, spray paint. It's a lot easier, and it, and it gets into the the, the nooks and crannies of the uh, piece, and it's a lot. It's just it's just easier, and you get better coverage. But uh, I went ahead and painted it by hand, primed it by hand, and I used my uh, heat gun to to speed up the drying time a little bit. So in regards to painting the piece. There's, there's a couple approaches you can take. Uh, my approach is going to be hitting the high raised areas of the corrugated cardboard and with the uh, warm metal paint and leaving the creases black to give it more depth. We could paint the whole entire piece that warm metal, but I want the uh i want the prime i want the primer to show through the uh to show with the paint so i'm going to do a dry brush on the raised corrugated part of the cardboard and we'll take a look and see how that how that looks uh that's that's the approach i'm taking for this piece this piece here i painted the whole thing silver and ve left very little uh very little black for this particular piece, but I did give it a uh, black black wash. But uh, we'll compare the two uh, the two techniques uh, once I'm completed. And uh, so let's uh, let me shake up my warm metal. And I just I just take it right out right out of the cap because I when I shake it it picks up uh, it picks up a whole bunch of paint in the cap. So that's what we're gonna go and do. Now I didn't I didn't clean my brush in between uh, in between uh, paints 
I just uh, really, really cleaned it, dry cleaned it. I didn't use any water. So we're just going to come in. We're going to dab a little. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rub a little bit off. And I'm going to come in with a... Uh, let's see if we can capture this. I'll come in with a a dry brush. Just just picking up the uh just picking up the raised the raised areas. Let's see if I can get a little little bit more if you guys can see that. I hope it's picking up on camera. I really can't see. Uh I have to get a better setup. If I want my YouTube channel to be successful, I have to get a better setup and figure things out. It's just finding the time and the ability to do it. Let's see. So I don't know if you guys can see the raised highlights on the on the can, but that's that's the technique I'm using for this particular piece, because I do want the majority of the black to show, because when we rust it, and when we weather it, it'll uh, it'll give it a really nice look. So you just you just keep going. And if you you can tell I didn't I didn't clean as much off my brush as I did the first time because I'm I'm trying to get it to pick up pretty quick. It's a uh pretty thick uh dry brush. Most of the time you want to get the entire paint off your uh off your brush be, before you uh dry brush, but I'm leaving the majority of it on. So I hope you guys can see that. See the effect? Uh, so I, now I could go in and I could paint the whole entire thing, one metal, but we're not going to do that for this particular technique. And we'll, we'll take a, we'll take a peek and see how it looks in the end. Uh, so let me finish dry brushing the corrugated cardboard. Um, uh, in the comments, you can let me know if, if you want to see it on camera. I would love to show you, but it's pretty tedious. It's, it's boring. And I don't want to bore people. I don't want people. I don't want people chiming out of my videos halfway through it because they're watching me dry brush. But that's the idea, guys. So I'm gonna go around, and for this, the uh, the lip, I'm, I'll end up doing the whole, the whole lip. Probably need a couple coats for this particular paint. It's not the best quality paint. And that gives you an idea of, of what it's going to look like when it's all done. And you can see the dry brushing going on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Some some uh, some spots have a little more paint than others. And that's kind of what you're going for. Especially with a weathered piece. So let me finish dry brushing this, painting it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the piece is, is complete at the painted... Uh, at the painted step. Uh, let's see. It's all complete. The technique was a dry brush. Leave the black in between the creases. And this is what it looks like to give you an idea. Let's see if we can zoom in so you guys can, can see. So that's one technique. The other technique w would be to paint the whole can silver. Or, or, or with the warm metal, but I I chose this route because the other one I I did the the other the other technique on. So I I hope you guys can see that. It looks awful blurry to me. So let me uh, let me see if I can get it get it looking better. So here we go. But that's the difference. If you guys can see that. Okay, so the next part will be weathering. And what do I use to weather? I use, for my rust, I use painted, folk art painted finishes, which is this particular paint here. And it comes in two colors. It comes with a darker color, and then it comes with a lighter color. And it's supposed to be applied in two steps for this particular paint. So we'll start with the darker paint and then we'll come in with the lighter paint on top of the darker and it'll, it'll give it that special, that special rust effect. Now, 
you can do you can do this one of two ways as far as I'm concerned. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to dab the paint on. I'm not going to paint it on like like this. I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to dab it like that. Kind of like a uh kind of like stabbing it, but I mean, you could paint it too, but I think by dabbing it it just gives it more of a a a real feel a real look to the paint itself so uh let's go ahead and add the uh the darker paint let me let me mix it up uh let me throw it on here i'll just put it on the central board here because that's how i that's how my studio becomes such a mess when i'm working and it's not going to cooperate so in this particular paint there's texture there's like sand texture i don't know if you can if you can see the texture or not probably not but you might not even be able to see 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 how i'm dabbing it and i'm doing like the rim a little bit we're going to do one section and then and then i'll show you the orange pot the, the, the lighter rust pot and hopefully it comes through on the uh, on the video hopefully it's not uh, all fuzzy on you but I believe it is by just taking a peek over so we'll get down below here as well if I get my hand out of the way if you can see that right there and we'll dab it. We just want to be very random where you put it. You don't want to, you don't want to bunch it up in one particular place. You want to be very random. So that's that's usually how I approach weathering and painting is 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 the randomness of of where you put things. So that's a good start. If you guys can see that, hopefully you can. Hopefully it's focused because I do not want to give you bad quality video and that looks a lot better. So uh, let me get out the orange and we'll do the orange over the, uh, the brown and we'll take a look and see what kind of effect we get. So let me get the lighter rust out. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'll just, I'll just dry clean it on a, uh, on a rag. So that's, the orange there and that that has nice texture to it so let me clean my brush painting is uh painting is a skill it's a technique you can not not everybody can paint and it takes time and it takes practice to achieve you know the kind of look you're going for so and now i'm going to come in with the uh the light orange just very random kind of like that see see how that's starting to look rusted you got a little bit of i'm going to leave a little bit of the brown showing and it gives it a better a, a more uh a more uh realistic look to it so but that's the idea you can even go in and just do the orange pot you know you can skip the step of the brown but i think the brown adds a little more depth to your uh to your piece so that's what I aim for I aim for some good depth I hope I hope this is coming through folks I really don't want to redo this video because I really can't because it's already painted so let's do let's do down below here right here and let's get an idea of what it looks like and the brown's still wet and that's okay you want you can go wet wet on wet you just wanna that gives you an idea of what that particular uh part of the uh barrel will look like hopefully that helps there and I'll do the whole thing like that i'll I'll go through and 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 do some spots of of dark brown rust and then I'll come in. And where we left black, you can go in there with a little bit of rust and 
and so on and so forth. But like I say, what's important about this step is just trying to get some randomness to your, to your pattern. So that gives you an idea. I did all that off camera. Sorry about that. So there it is. Let me try to get it focused for you. That looks pretty good. That gives you the idea, guys. It gives you the idea of the weathering and uh, that pot there. So I'll I'll go around the whole barrel. I won't do it now on camera. I just wanted to, I just wanted to do some of it for you. Let's see if that'll focus there. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all done and weathered. That gives you the idea. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, I hope you guys learned a little something about painting. There's so many different techniques for painting. You could you could do this rust effect in washes. Uh, I'm going a little heavier. I'm going right in for it. But you can do layers of, of washes that gradually become uh, stronger in, in how it looks with the more layers you add. So you can do it in washes. You can just go for it like I did. Uh, there's many ways you can uh, paint. But, but I encourage you to practice it. Practice your techniques and uh, stick with what you like, what works for you. So... I find that particular uh, technique works for me pretty good. So here's the two, two trash cans side by side. Two, two of them painted different ways. This one here just dry brushed on the high. And this one completely painted. So that's, that's how it looks. And here's the cover for this one. Here's the cover for this one. All done. All right, guys. That's what she looks like. Not too shabby. A uh, cheap way to make yourself a trash can, weather it up real nice. And you don't even have to weather. You can just paint it and, and stick with it. All right. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry for uh, the rambling. And I'm sorry if the video was out of focus a little bit. Okay. You guys have a good night.